Well, looks like another siege has finally arrived. The enemy is upon us. A vile force of darkness has arrived. And here they are. Mistress Spearmen. And it looks like they're all riding Rutherers. And they are led by... Uzbu Wicked Amuses, a goblin pikeman. Who is also riding a Rutherer. And over here we have an Ogress that has arrived on the edge of the map. Um, who's fighting? We just got, it looks like we got a bunch of dwarfs sparring. Our military is diligently training. It is 18th Galeno, late summer. And, um, we're still pretty safe. We should be safe from them. They're probably just gonna prance around out there for the, for the time being. I don't seem to care about those ogres over there. I don't believe they have a way to get into our fort. Let's see. Construction is just going swimmingly on the bottom level of the barracks here. We'll have walls and fortifications stretched across this so that we can plank them with arrows as they try to come across the bridge. And I've also got one little pillar of sand here that I'm going to have to mine out at some point and place an actual stone wall there. Um, probably once the Vile Force of Darkness leaves the map. Let's smooth that down right there. Yeah, the fortress is coming along rather nicely. We do have all the migrants named. This is everyone that's in the fortress right now. Here's page one. Again, you know what to do if you want to see exactly where you're at in there, what number you're up to. I fixed the name of uh, Revocane. I had your numbering off. You are now Revocane. Actually, I don't even know if I have a, a new Revocane in here yet. But you went through three, four, and five. Um, let's see. I also did name one of the other baby, Juju Dog's baby and Infidel's baby. It's a Jufidel baby is what it is. Um, you're going to have to start really stretching your family names if you continue to breed and pop little demons out. So let's see. That's really it. haven't really constructed anything else yet, and I'm still letting the dwarfs catch up on mining out everything I've got designated and uh, smoothing things down. We'll keep our eyes on the, the vile force of darkness out there. There they are. Okay, well there is a bunch of chaos going on outside. You might notice all of these goblins and bargists and their ruthers all scattered out. There's the wave of ogres that probably arrived rid with them. But they've been battling with... Uh, these elf merchants over here, these Azricum elf merchants that brought mercenaries. Cat's City Simple, an Azricum elf hammerman, just demolishes that, that pikeman. The Azricum elf hammerman bashes the Ruther in the right leg. The Azricum elf hammerman bashes the Ruther in the right front uh, foot. Somebody's also shooting some sun gold bolts through the air. There they go, there's more combat down here. Yeah, so they're just slowly getting plucked off and killed by the uh, the traders and merchants that arrived. They're not very good bandits, not very good raiders, apparently. Since so far, I think it's just two elves that are completely obliterating them, routing them. And this guy is having a whole lot of trouble killing the Ruther. Who knows, maybe the ogres. He charges after the ogre. They begin rolling around in the sand, and he lands a blow on its knee. Begins chasing it across the desert. Yeah, it's not going to get away. Attack him in a group. Surround him. The ogres notice uh, that he is superior to them. So they give him a wide margin. As they walk by. A large distance between them, whatever. And they leave. And it looks like the... Uh, if I wasn't afraid of being completely ambushed, I'd send our, our squads out there. To help sweep through. Thieves are stealing stuff. The ogress cook is fighting. He was hoping to snatch some dwarfs whenever he, they arrived here and take them back and cook them into a delicious meal, but it's not going to happen. The elf hammerman gives chase, but the Ruthers are much too quick. I don't think they're going to be able to catch up to him, on foot anyways. Quick, corner them. This one's limping. Go after him. He bashes him in the leg, bruising the spine, crushing the skull. He jumps on top of the Ruther and begins choking it out, riding it around. 
Uh, he spills that one's blood. So our, our little merchant friends out there are doing a good job. They've all gathered themselves in the bottom of the map here. And they're defending us from the siege. Who knows, they may even break that siege. The Goblin of Spearman is fighting. The Arashikrim Elf Hammerman's fighting. Man, I, I kind of feel wussified now. Outdone by two elves. And there goes that squad and their leader. Pouring off the side of the map. They say, forget this. We don't want none of the elves. We came for dwarves, not elves. Yeah, so it is 26 Galena late summer. And uh, we're just watching the brave elf heroes outside kick some Vargas ass. We're going to have to train harder this year. Okay, well, it is 18th limestone early autumn. Um, work's still continuing pretty steady inside the fortress, and we've had a new batch of migrants show up. Ten of them, to be precise. I am not going to pull the lever um, to drop the bridge. I am, however, going to mine out this chunk of wall right there. That piece of sand that I want to replace, we're going to use this opportunity to let the migrant stream in, and then we'll build a wall piece there and seal it off. So, A, B, C, D, and E, you're done training. Come stand down here. And don't go grab any gear, either. Um, the merchants have all left. They all left us not too long ago. I, Peruti, and Elover Brawly, were, they were the ones hanging around out there. Uh, so we'll just unpause it. Ooh, and uh, let these migrants start streaming in. There they there they come. Who's first? Doodle Alien the fourth is there, followed by Tells Darcy, then our mayor, and then Vazer. And then there's Mr. Azra. You know what? And he's injured, I think. Uh, miserable. Let me check his his thing here. His left hand's fat is completely gone. I think he lost it in the battle. One of those goblins bit it and just tore it off. So I don't know if he's going to ever put that fat back on or not. I think that's why he's miserable. Poor dwarf. Doesn't even recognize his own hand anymore. Come on, migrants. Just start running towards uh, towards our fortress. Here comes our miner now. It's Variax III, Ratchet Hatchets. Is that what his name is? Ratchet Hat? Rake Hatchets. And the sand wall falls down. Don't go out there, dogs. You're going to be left. Any animals that get left outside or that, that go outside can probably stay. Get in here, you jerk, jerk dwarfs. We're not going to wait all day for you. Looks like he's got a mug in his hand. He's probably still sipping it. In awe, his gaze falling upon our mountain and slowly riding it up all the way towards the horizon. To where the tip top disappears against the blue sky. Get your bearings together and charge in here. Could be an ambush at any moment. Um, let's see. Maybe put a meeting zone back here. Maybe that'll wake them up. Meeting area. Come on, buddy. We've got gems and bars and gold. Everything in here. There might even be a few female dwarves. Still single. Or possibly bereaved. Um, and still, they don't care. There he goes. Wake up. Someone charges through from behind. It's Stenthad Silvery Mortal. He's just an adequate mechanic. And he charges forward, followed by a little runt. And then the other dwarves. They were tired of waiting for him. I guess this guy is the leader. Move on through. We're here, folks. I told you I'd deliver you in one piece. I expect full payment for my uh, goods and services. Once we get inside, yeah, you better snap out of it and fall in. Our dwarfs are turning into quite the artisans now. 
They're pumping out masterpiece after masterpiece of everything they create. Come on, you stray eland calf. You are definitely going to get left behind. I won't put up that wall piece yet. We'll let that dwarf. There we go. He's close enough. And... You know what? Make it out of micro line. I'm fine with a little bit of blue on blue there. Someone grab it and bring it. It is the eye for a grand master cook. No, you fool. Actually, I'm the fool. Um, place a wall here. I should have known he would do that to try to stand on that side. I have to resuspend that. Suspend both of them. Okay. Now build it from the inside. And the turtle snuck in, but the eland, eland calf is going to be werewolf bait out there. Tough luck, little creature. May you find your way in the world out there while you still can. I suggest leaving as quickly as possible. A, B, C, D, and E, I don't think anything snuck in. No master ninja kobold thieves were able to get by us. So I'm going to let the dwarfs get back to uh, working. I'll get all of these ten migrants that snuck in. I'll get them all named. And hopefully we don't come back to too much more excitement. Well, um, let's see. It is 22nd Sandstone. Population of 93. I got those last migrants named. And uh, they're getting situated as well with the fort. And one of them decided that they were going to be possessed. Flame of Dark Scourquakes. He stepped into the fortress recently and... He was carrying a nice bundle of bone bolts right here to the ammo stockpile for our military to train with. You can see our, our mayor there too, by the way. There he goes. But Flame of Dark decided that he needs to create something. He needs to leave his mark on the fortress while he still can. There's no telling when he'll be swept away. And he goes all the way down to the bottom of the caverns where we're living at. And he claims a magma forge. And he starts, looks like, grabbing a copper bar there. He runs over here. And what are you going to grab? He grabs some logs, perhaps. Maybe some iron wood. He's going to make a heavy, sturdy weapon, perhaps. Some hero's armor. That looked like cobalt. Cobaltite that he grabbed there. Blue ore. He ripped it right out of that dwarf's hands. Didn't even give him time to smelt it. Hey, and we've made ten ash. And Flame of Dark begins a mysterious construction. So we'll see what he's got made for us. Let's see, there goes... Mabil Tassador, a ferret. Pet of Sergeant Shima IV. And there's Eero Lisi, knife golds. Preparing an easy plump helmet mill. Probably just some plump helmet stew or something. Nothing too fancy. Still getting rocks cleared out of the hallways with the rock grinders. The floors are slowly coming into view once we sweep up all this debris. And um, eventually I'm going to start smoothing down all these rooms. I know I've talked about it for a while. Got a couple of the extra nobles rooms being uh, set up. Eventually I'm going to start handing these large special rooms to champions that emerge from our military as well. Um, some of the artifact makers, if you've made an exceptionally good artifact item, you'll be getting your own special room. It's just going to take time to get it all set up. Special fancy rooms, I, I used to do, before I started recording, I used to do special fancy rooms for the Founding Seven. But time doesn't really permit that. So, time will eventually, though, allow me to make rooms for you know, the special dwarves who do something for the fortress provided they don't die before I can assign it to them we've got now I think I'm gonna say your name right Akian the fourth Lash Havens he's getting ready to go to his bedroom and fall asleep and uh, Blind Chaos the fourth is grinding worthless rocks picking them up out of the hallways how far away are you going um, it may he the pathing's kind of weird, so even though these rocks are technically closer for him to walk to, if there's rocks uh, on a floor above or below that are closer to this, Z-level-wise, he'll run all the way up there. 
Okay, well, I kind of had to step away for a moment there. I um, got distracted, but let's see. I think I was talking about them using this rock grinder. Um, basically, they'll get around to clearing out these rocks eventually, sometime, at some point. It may take quite some time, though. Uh, there's Blind Chaos. He's grabbed his stone. No telling where from. Maybe up on that level. And Flame of Dark, you, um... Created Gansit Budam, a copper hatch cover. So let's take a look at that. It is called Slimy Earlings, a copper hatch cover. Valued at 15,600 dwarf bucks. This is a copper hatch cover. All craft's dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of copper. And on the item is an image of two wyverns in black cap. On the item is an image of Shund Oil Scar, the keeper, and sand lions in cobaltite. Shund oil scar is surrounded by the sand lions. The artwork relates to the taming of the sand lions of the humid desert by the keeper Shund oil scar in the late spring of 543, during the journey of the keeper Shund oil scar. And on the item is an image of the messianic crux, the slate statue of Kiara Wasbruder in Diorite. Um, actually, you know what? We do have messianic crutch. Isn't that it? Didn't I say before that we didn't have that? I think it was referenced somewhere else. Not on the Dogbone Maze. Um, let's see. Not on Skin Helpful the Earring. Um, what about on the Realm of Silvers here? Group Rock. This is about Box McCloud. Rest in peace, Box. Um, maybe it's not referenced on anything. But I'm not sure where we'll use a copper hatch cover at. We might... <clears throat> one of the things that I'm going to start looking into doing is on the central stairwell here. I'll probably use that hatch cover to seal it off. Not... A brook troll stolen a spell with flask. But I'm not going to use it to seal it off completely. But certain Z levels, like say... Man, a whole bunch of crap just got stolen. Getting yelled at all over the place. No, we don't need any of it. But I'm going to use it to like build a bunch of hatches right here and hook it up to a lever. And that way we'll be able to slam it shut if need be and seal off certain levels of the cavern. I think that's how that'll work. Um, and that's how you can seal up stairwells and stuff. So it is second timber, 1080 late autumn. Dwarves are just uh, relaxing all over the place. There's Till of the Fifth, Rocks Match on Break, just setting out in the open, enjoying the uh, the new view and the breeze that blows through this bottom cavern level, now that it's opened up a little bit. I did move the trade depot. I destroyed it there. Since there's no caravans, it's all just going to be pack animals for quite some time, probably for a few more updates. I don't have to worry about them not being able to go up and down my stairs because they're not wide enough or anything. But move the trade depot all the way down into our fortress onto the crafts level here. Extremely close to the stockpiles and the workshops. And also the traders will be protected by our military that will be guarding the gate and the bridge 24 hours a day. I'm going to let the dwarves get back to working. Well, it's that time again. The enemy is upon us. Another vile force of darkness has arrived. And it's more werewolves. It's not just a bunch of gray werewolves over there to the west. Um, let's see. They normally don't just arrive in one place. Yep, more to the north. More to the northeast. Um, is there any to the east? Well, there's some to the south there. So there's four squads. Now four squads of werewolves. Thankfully, uh, they have no way to get to us. You know, we could try to give our archers something to do. Let's see, where are you going to go, werewolves? We do have an eland calf out there. Oh no, the eland calf has knocked up a group of nagas. Run! They swarm over it and begin striking the stray eland calf down to the ground. Are you going to stand for that, werewolves? Apparently they're they're fine with it. They're gonna cheer for the Nagas. They rip the calf in half and begin feasting on it. Apparently, 
sharing it amongst themselves. So let's see, Naga Wrestler. Are these all wrestlers? Swordsmen. Spearmen. 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 And another Mystic Spearman. So, let's see, actually. Um, we've got these murder holes here. Let's see. Group A, B, C, D, and E. I want everyone to come station themselves right here. On this little corner. And I want to see if the archers will do anything at all. Both Sierra's grown attached to a copper short sword. Well, we've got werewolves over here. I could maybe have some of my um, civilians come and smooth these walls down into fortifications and grave fortifications on them. Yay! Make ten lies complete. Um, I'll try to give a kill kill command. Let's see. Kill all of them. Where's my rectangle at? Yeah, so I give the kill commands. I want to see if the archers will run to the windows or anything. The military, did they just run up those stairs? No. Everybody's kind of just standing around. Cancel store item interrupted by werewolves and stuff. Combat, lizard folk, lizard folk, elan calf, black naga, okay. Well, I guess um, until I get a ded dedicated team of archers, there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do to it. We'll let everyone stand down. and uh, We'll just go back to training inside our walls here. It is 19th timber late autumn, and there's fun outside. Okay, well, quite frankly, I'm kind of getting tired of these werewolves. We're not going to charge them. We're not going to storm across the bridge in one last gallant charge. I'm sure it would end in disaster, even though we've got 90-some dwarves. Just the sheer number of werewolves out there would would most certainly overwhelm us. Plus all the ambushers out there and everything. Um, What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to scramble all of the military, even though they only have one archer in each squad. <clears throat> That'll be five archers, hopefully, if they're if they're all equipped. And I'm going to send them to the bridge right here. With the hopes that they'll be able to shoot a few arrows across and um, pick off these werewolves. Maybe just a little bit. And get them the hell out of here. There's Cappy Anon. And while they're, um, while they're doing that, let's see. There's somebody with a bow. There's Eye Stock for Cash. He's coming up. Um, Jellosnark, you've got Nazom Boomal. You decided to pick that weapon up. You've got Nazom Ball in your left hand and a Cobalt Shield in your left hand. And your right lower arm is pretty mangled. Ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. Motor nerve damage. You're the slayer of Olnongo, the grim general heart of yells. And let's see, I stock for cash opens up, and oh no, the forgotten beast, Orasu, Ket Ungangmu has come, an enormous wax wing with lidless eyes. It has two short tails, and it belches and croaks. Its slate gray feathers are long and narrow. Beware of its deadly blood, it would have deadly blood. Um, let's see, where is it? It is up here, on this part of the map. This is where we slayed the humanoid. So great. It is going to be able to fly. I'm almost certain. Right wing, left wing. Yep. Oraslu, Echo Dead. The funeral of crevices. Well, let's make sure he doesn't bring a funeral to us here. The werewolves are going to have to wait. Because they're no longer important. Let's see, I stock for cash, you got one arrow off it looks like, and it struck the gray werewolf in the lower leg. I think that we're going to say forget them though, for now, and we're going to scramble the military over here to the caverns where this waxwing fiend is going to be uh, flying through. There he is, more arrows strike, the orthoclase bolt strikes the bloody blood werewolf in the lower body, tearing the fat and bruising the kidney. So you're shooting a few arrows on your on your way out. Here it comes. It's stomping across the ground. Um, let's 
let's see. You're still standing there. You might not actually go down into the caverns. Seeing as how your attention is currently completely filled and taken by this werewolf's here. <clears throat> he runs, that, that wounded werewolf limps back into the crowd. And you're quite pleased with it because you can just shoot into them now. Orthoclase bolt strikes them, strikes them. Hits them in the lower body, bruising the fat, tearing the lung. So yeah, you're, wait, is somebody else going up there? Who is standing there? Mage reborn, teeth work. You're taking a drink on the bridge as you watch Ostok for cash unload his bolts right there. Yep, you say. That's how it's done. And you continue drinking whatever it is you're drinking. Where's our little beast? Hey, look, there's a giant earthworm up there, too. Where are you at, Waxwing Fiend? There he is, flying around. Great green W. Let's get this over with. It is 26 opal, midwinter. Still have a population of 93. We did have one notable birth. Um, our, our Nith animal caretaker gave birth once more to another baby Nith. Come on, Mr. Waxwing. Unfortunately, there's no easy way for us to get over there. There he is, just floating around, fluttering about. I'd have to remove this wall, and then we could get back there. You know, that could be something we do. Where is he at? He's over that way. There he is. Um, let's see, if I remove that wall, it'll open up this entire cavern section. This side's fine, because it bumps into the water. So anything that can come through this way um, will be able to come through here. We'll have to seal off this section right here, this section of the cavern where the Forgotten Beast just arrived. There's also a giant toad and a giant earthworm. So this is a highly active section of the cavern. I'd have to seal that off. And over here to the east, there's unknown areas. Oh, well, there it is, just flying around. Oh, well, I'll come back um, whenever anything interesting happens. It may take quite some time to get to us. I'm guessing it's gonna, gonna attack whenever I'm least expecting it. So I'm gonna leave the military on high alert, leave them standing here. And we won't even worry about the werewolves for now. There's Blind Chaos the Fourth. He's mooning, mooning the werewolves while he stands on the barrel. Slapping his ass cheeks. Oh, I'd say disgraceful, but I think the werewolves deserve it. Okay, well, I've got two dwarves here tearing down this wall. Um, Mage Reborn and Jeff Major. They've stepped up to remove those constructions. I'm going to tear that down, and we're going to send the military on through. To this side. One, to do a little bit of scouting. We're gonna scout out the edge of this region here. And two, to chase down that forgotten beast, because I want to get it killed. Get it done with before it, it manages to somehow go around my defenses and uh, strike us where we're weak. Which could be anywhere. So we'll scramble the military over here. We'll send them up there first. I'm, I'm no doubt I don't doubt that they're going to see this earthworm, see this giant toad. And they'll do a little bit of warm-up on that. I wonder if the Forgotten Beast is going to wait. And then we'll be over there. And it'll swoop in behind and rip through the base. So let's see, Chili Noodle. You charge forward. Somebody shot a mule bone bolt into the giant earthworm's uh, brain. So the giant earthworm's dead. The toad there, he's kind of running around. He hid on the back side of the rock. A, B, C, D, and E, move over here. And also, this will be good, because if we do kill the Forgotten Beast with his deadly blood, at least it'll be away from the main part of the fortress. Where you at? There he is. Waxwing up in the corner. Um, 
I'm pretty sure this is about ready to get ugly. A, B, C, D, and E. We're gonna, we'll give the kill command and hopefully they can focus all of their attention. Everybody, everybody charge the beast. Where did he go? He's up there on top of the plateau. Right at the edge of the map. Somebody charged up ahead first. Let's see, J-Man the third, you're up there. You already have an upper body and a left knee injury from previous engagements. Even though you've never got a kill. Your upper body bears a short, straight scar. And your knee aches year-round. There's Capianon. You don't have any kills either. But you've seen battle. Your right arm bears a massive, straight scar where the werewolves um, bit you and gnawed on you. J-Man slashes the forgotten beast on the right foot with the obsidian short sword, bruising the skin, bruising the bone. He slashes it again in the upper leg, bruising the skin. And they get to work. A flying mule bone bolt strikes the forgotten beast on the lower body, tearing through the muscle. Chili Noodle stabs it in the right wing from the side, fracturing the bone. The dwarfs swarm on it. It doesn't really seem to be going anywhere. Gamebug Finder punches it in the right lower leg with the hand, bruising the muscle and the bone. Hippo Man punches it. Dion stabs it in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts. Rob bashes it in the right upper leg. Um... Don't let its blood get in your mouth or in your eyes. Looks like they're just pummeling it into the ground. Game bug finder. You punch it in the left upper leg, bruising the muscle and the bone. Jello snark strikes the forgotten beast in the right foot with the pommel of Nazum Bumal. It bruises the muscle and the bone. Mr. Insane slashes it in the lower body, but the attack just glances off. He didn't put a good, eno a good enough swing behind it. And it's dead. J-Man, you slash it in the upper body, bruising the skin. Doodle Alien slashes it in the left wing, tearing the fat and bruising the bone. Mr. Insane stabs it in the upper body. Is it dead? Or, yeah, it is dead. Couldn't fly away. There's no ceiling there. A, B, C, D, and E. Or there is a ceiling there. Everyone can stand down. You guys can stand down now, right? Who's injured? Who's dying? Did anybody get that blood on them? So let's see, anybody lose their name? Because I didn't see a kill message in the chat log there. J-Man, you lost yours. You killed Orasu Echo Dead. The funeral of crevices, the forgotten beast. So, congratulations to you, J-Man. You definitely earned this kill. It's been a long enough time coming. Let's see, your lover is Stagger the Third, who is still alive. You worship Arist and Gotham. You have two pets, or you had two pets, they're all dead. And a whole bunch of dead friends as well. Yeah, pretty much all of your friends are dead. I'm sure you'll make more friends though at some point. Um, so we now have this part of the caverns open, let's see. I'm going to seal this off. Let's get some dwarves working up here. We'll put a wall right here. Um, seal that off. Again, we don't got to worry about the water because we were already open to the water. A and B, somebody killed this frog. The non-military dwarves won't have the stomach for even carrying a single stone if they see that, that frog up there. They'll turn tail and run. So we have Dion Glove Tempted and Game Bug Finder. They charge after the toad. And they begin uh, a little dance with it. It's basically just practice for them. They bolt them. Let's see. Dion, you've got an Obsidian Short Sword. And Game Bug Finder, you've got an Obsidian Short Sword. We'll have to get you better weapons. Uh, the smelting operation, we'll take a look at that here in a moment, too. Let's see, we have all of this area open, this part of the caverns over here, this part of the caverns is open. Um, I can't really seal that off very easy. I can't build a wall all the way across here. Oh, and look at this, a whole bunch of Dralta have arrived. Um, I'm going to actually give the kill order for the military. The first two squads, the gilded flags and the boats of kissing, they can charge up there and kill those Drotha. And then I'm going to use the civilians to build the wall 
along this side here. And, um, I can already set that up, because, honestly, the Drotha are not going to kill them. We'll build that out of schist. Apparently, I'm also going to need woodcutters up there to clear the debris. Yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of, I guess, little, uh, cleanup work to do here. Chop those mushrooms down. Who's going to charge forward and kill those Drotha? There goes Majry Born Teethwork, picking his way through the mushroom forest. And damn, that wall is already built. That was quick. These dwarfs don't waste any time. Chili Noodle stabs, tells Darcy in the right lower leg, lightly tapping the target. So they're already back there training. And, and I'm not going to sell off all of the caverns, every little um, nook and cranny of the caverns. Some of the places I will leave open, but like this cavern level that we're on right now, um, I want to completely claim it for the dwarves. Build a wall there. Seal off that, that northern section so nothing can come through it. Chili Noodle taps, tells Darcy again. Tells Darcy punches Chili Noodle on the right foot and lightly taps the target. Let's see, we got somebody up there having fun. It's Stagger the Third, Roasted Inks. He's killed Recoost Phantom Marches, the Shroom Dwarfette, and a single dog. It's been two years since he got his last kill. He's quite eager to, to finally, uh, Add some more check marks next to his name. He begins pummeling that Dralta down. Kill it quick. Don't let it bite you. They've got dirty mouths. So it is 11th Obsidian late winter. We're just doing animal control down here. Draltas aren't anything to worry about. Let's see. We've got J-Man. Scribe Balt there. Slayer of... Uh, the Wax Fiend. I stock for cash. You're back there opening fire with your crossbow. More people are arriving. Yeah, more military squads coming through. Still waiting on the mushrooms to be cut down and the walls to be built. So, I'm going to secure this cavern level a little bit more. Um, kill any wildlife that comes through. There's the other Dralta. And actually, let's see... As soon as, if they'll hurry up and kill those Drontas and quit screwing around, we'll scout to the south real quick. Drontas are certainly hardy creatures. So they're dead. Let's see, A and B. You've killed all of those three. There's one more Dralta there, actually. I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to leave that Dralta for now. I think this one right here. Poor little thing. A large, long-bodied grazer with a thick mane that feeds on the top of tower, uh, tower cap mushrooms. If, as long as that Dralta doesn't scare my civilian dwarfs, he can live. If he starts scaring them and screwing up their work, screwing up their wall building, then we'll strike them down. Until then, I guess, I guess they can stay. Unsuspend that. What'd you find down here, lads? That's a large section. And what about over here? This cavern actually doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard to claim. Most of it is just water. What? Wow, I do not want them to cut all those mushrooms down. Apparently, I, at some point, probably a long time in the past, and all these mushrooms too? Holy crap, that's dangerous. Yeah, don't cut everything down. And, um... Can chop this down. Cause I need a wall there. Forget those mushrooms. There's nothing over there. We'll build a wall here and seal this off. Come on, lads. A little bit further this way. We're almost done scouting this level out. There we go. Struck caseratite, and a stray cow has given birth to a bull calf that will be slaughtered for food or something. So we don't need more bulls. Man, unlocking a huge chunks of the map. And Alex the third, there you are. A little runt, Alex clasp glowed. You've been possessed and stricken by a mood. You take off sprinting down the hallways. Perhaps you heard some of the brave warriors telling tales of the recent fights they've had. 
whisperings of the werewolves outside. And so you claim a Crafts Dwarfs workshop. And uh, you get to work on that. So let's see. Anything else left to explore down here? Just a little bit. Move up there. And keep your eyes peeled for any mummies or lost adventurers that might be sneaking amongst the tower caps. We will be running away from any of those uh, creatures that have flies or other types of afflictions that they can sick on our dwarves. So let's see, more water there. Don't got to worry about that. I do want to seal this part of the cavern off. So go chop that down. If we can secure this level, I will be extremely happy. I'm going to have to build a wall here. Right there. Um, what's the closest thing? Tower cap logs? Build it out of mica. No reason to settle for some cheap wood walling. Whenever we can do better than that. Um, and even though we do seal it off, it'll only stop uh, ground creatures from coming into the map. If it can fly, I'm pretty sure it'll still be able to fly in over the wall, though. And let's see, a caravan from Vajitunguska has arrived. A bunch of Nords. Dralt is fighting, Dralt is fighting. Yep, sorry, uh, merchants. You know what, I don't see the werewolves out there. They must have left at some point. I'm fine with that, too. But the merchants can still stay out there. I'm not I'm not opening up to the outside world until I'm I'm sure that our warriors can handle can handle uh, the stuff that's gonna be thrown at us to some reasonable amount. I don't wanna see us get squashed prematurely, if I can help it. And Alex, you stole my camera again and began another mysterious construction. So let's see, where are the walls at? We've got that sealed off there. I'm also going to need to seal this part of the cavern off. And go chop down those mushrooms. And remove that ramp. It's always just the little itty bitty corners. Can I not remove that ramp? Oh crap, I can't remove it. Because it's on the edge. Remove those three ramps. And we will build a wall in a moment right across here. Anything else we need to seal off? Put a wall right here. Um, make that out of mica too. Look at the distance on some of the on these rocks now that we're gonna have to haul. 257 distance, that's massive. Thankfully we've got plenty of idlers, so they won't have it won't be one dwarf making a trip five minute long trips for a single dwarf they'll be able to carry them all pretty quickly so let's see I think that no don't abandon I think this is it then until I do something to scout along this edge I'm gonna have to mine through this wall or build um build a floor along this edge here perhaps I've thought about building a, a bridge out to this center rock here and hollowing this out and turning this into some type of temple as well. Until then we're going to have this fog in the corner though. But nothing can get to us. There's no land bridge to it. It is uh, fairly isolated. So the gilded flags, the boats of kissing, you can stand down. You've done a good job scouting out this cavern level for us. And got that sealed off. That'll be sealed off soon. We're gonna, they're removing those ramps. Let's get this wall placed here, and we'll almost be done. I'll make that out of mica. Unfortunately, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to be able to build over this ramp here. I can't remove it. Can I build a wall, like right in the corner? Yeah, I can actually. So I'll build that that wall there and seal up, plug up this little hole. And then once that's done, I'll build a, another wall on top of it and seal that up. They've got that little hole plugged. And we need to get this one plugged too. Fill that with more mica. 
There goes our military stampeding back home. Try not to trip yourselves in the silk webbing, you bastards. Oh man, this is going to be a problem. This part here is going to take quite some time to seal off. Go chop down all those mushrooms. And yeah, that's going to take, uh, yeah, a little bit of hauling to do. And then we'll almost be secure on this level. Got this wall here. Seal that off. I know this hasn't been the most exciting thing. Um, make that out of mica. Make that out of mica. And you know what? I'm going to leave that Drotha, like I said. It hasn't done anything. It's not violent. And quite frankly, we don't need the meat. So it is 21st Obsidian, late winter. Uh, and we've pretty much got this cavern level right here tamed and secure. Unless it flies in or can swim. At which point we will have to fight it. And we're still sealed off from this back part of the cavern here. I might go do something with that at some point. We'll have to seal this wall. Ooh, look at that, a blood spider right there. This is an air-breathing Chelicerat arthropod that has two body segments, eight legs, and no chewing mouth parts. It has sharp, venomous mandibles. It dwells in mountain canyons. It cannot spin web, but it jumps from higher ground onto unsuspecting prey. It is gigantic with incredible muscles. Its chitin is burnt umber, and its eyes are pitch black. So yeah, I'm glad we've got that part of the cavern sealed off. Otherwise, we would be having a little bit of fun with spider friends. Which so far, thankfully, we've managed to avoid. And Alex, you've created Dalithokan. A Safflerite floodgate. Let's take a look at that. It's called a Riddled Burden. It doesn't have any value at all. This is a Safflerite floodgate. All crafts dwarfsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with red zircon and studded with copper. This object is adorned with hanging rings of safflerite and menaces with spikes of microline. On the item is an image of squares and arachna silk. It's completely worthless, unfortunately. Is everything worthless? Um, what is wrong? Okay, that's what's wrong. Psychiatrist, broker, manager. I did kind of mess up the, the noble positions here. Um, because it ended up somehow Master Azra was in like four of the positions. So uh, I replaced a few people. Our manager. Is he the one who... No, it's got to be the broker. No, it can't be the broker. So the grand treasurer? It's got to be the grand treasurer. We're going to set him at highest precision. Um, we're going to replace... No, no, I'm not going to replace Napoleon. For, for the time being, then, we just won't have any values here. We need a broker with the appraisal skill. Napoleon, I am going to replace you then. Do we have an appraiser skill anywhere? Surely our appraisers didn't die. Master Azra, adept appraiser. I'm fine, Master Azra. You'll be the broker again for now, actually. Because there's no telling when we're going to have merchants. Uh, merchant access. So it could be years until we're able to train another broker. I see you, Illithids. And the dwarfs are suspending construction? I don't think so. Right down there in the corner. I'm guessing because somebody has that piece of wood claimed. So like I was told, there's the dwarf contract for the union labor states that if another dwarf has already claimed it there, they are not allowed to pick it up and move it. No matter how dire the situation may be. Oh no, Nords, run. Run quickly, Nords. The Nords have been ambushed by Mind Flayer wrestlers and some other illithids. A, the Nord Axeman twists its copper Dane axe around in the wrestler's lower body. So it looks like the merchants arrived, thankfully, with heavy guard. And they just quickly dispatched that Illithid ambush. The Illithids even brought a dwarf warrior. Probably someone they had kidnapped at some point during a raid or a siege. Well, he can finally rest in peace and go join his clan in the afterlife. It is 23rd Obsidian Late Winter, 
And now I'm going to let the dwarves get back to work. And sparring. And sealing up the caverns. And all other types of good stuff. Run, Drotha, run. Run for your freedom. Well, we're about ready to lose a dwarf, I believe. Hammurabi, you were jumped by those Drotha. I never should have um, turned my back on them and assumed that they were peaceful. This Drotha cornered you and slammed you into the mushroom, and then it ripped your right hand off, and it is proceeding to thrash you down. I've scrambled um, the entire military over there, but yeah, it's not going to be, be quick enough to save you, unfortunately. We're going to reclaim your body. Oh, and you're going to pay, Drotha. Um, I'm also digging a tunnel. Unfortunately, I forgot that it was right underneath water, so I'm fighting the damp designation crap. Drotha, did you get a name? Drotha Growl Zephyr. The soon-to-be-deceased Drotha, as soon as our military gets over there. A couple people go stomping by. Zehal the Fourth. Peter the Fourth. Yes, yes, goddamn damp stone. There's the Drotha. Chase him down, kill him, the military swarms. And they see the body and gasp. And they start tracking the blood. It looks like Rob, is, uh, Rob Zor, the fourth, is there. Get him, Rob. Chase that bastard down. Throw his body in the lake. Let the carp feast on him. There's Hippo Man. He's got a small chest injury, it looks like. Rob kicks the draw to the whole military. Is, look at them. They're all just... Yeah, they finally corner it. Get them cornered between some trees and begin pummeling him into the ground. You dwarf killing Drotha bastard. Next time we'll stick Master Ozra on you. And you won't die so easy. There we go. Rest in peace, Hammurabi. It is 8th slate. Mid-spring. We have a population of 92 now. Um, besides Hammurabi being chopped down in his prime there, hasn't been a whole lot going on. Um, really just been getting this underwater tunnel set up and dug right here. We're digging this out. That way we have kind of an easier easier route to get to the other side of the river here. And all these tasty tower caps and silk, uh, silk pieces that are laying around. Otherwise, we've got to go all the way up through here and squeeze through this narrow little passage and walk through these dark tunnels here. Make a little bit more direct route. It's going to take some time, though. Well, it is 28th slate, mid-spring. Um, population is 93 because we have a new batch of migrants that have arrived. Only eight of them. That'll bump us up to 100 dwarves. I think I'm going to give the order to pull the lever here. And we're going to try to get them inside. A, B, C, D, and E, all the squads unite. And move to the entrance. Get ready to guard the gate from any ambushers that might try to sneak inside. I don't think we have anything out on the map, actually. Just camels out there, dead bodies everywhere. Limbs, dead illithids. Um, still working my way through this damn, damp stone. Hurry up, just drill through it. Go, go, go. It's taking far too long. There they go. The bridge is down, the military is swarming to protect the entrance. And there comes the first migrant. Lakot paper flag. Followed by his pets, it looks like. Dumbed uh, pickle oracle, a ferret kid, and a spaniel puppy that we will... Well, I guess we can't butcher it if it's somebody's pet. We may butcher it. Spaniel dogs, I don't think, can be trained into war dogs or hunting dogs. What do we got here? A large roach crawling around on our road out there, eating whatever trash and filth it can find. Hurry up, migrants. You better get in here quick. If a siege arrives, we're slamming the gate closed whether you're inside or not. A stray donkey foal and a stray mule foal. 
I'll leave them outside too. Damp stone, yay, we're almost through. You guys might get to see the ribbon cutting ceremony as we breach through finally. And last, this will be the last time I ever dig directly underneath water, if I can help it. I actually thought I was one level lower, and I would have avoided it. But no, I wasn't. So is everyone inside? Yeah, we're gonna butcher these creatures. Let's see, actually. Can I set them up to be butchered? Slaughter that mule full. Slaughter that donkey full. Um, yeah, we're gonna turn them into bolts and ammo. Maybe a little bit of leather. Maybe some meat. Maybe even a little bit of soap. 